good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, where today we have the huge hammer, which is the epitome of Impact Wave, because this uh, attack string does not stop, um, no matter how much you attack with it, or how many times you swing the hammer, you will always, always, always strike the ground. So, either you use red shoes, or tons of stamina, and this will be an incredible weapon for doing that. However, it does have one downside to it, is the innate blood damage that is built in, 10%, so you will always be proccing enemies' uh, blood resistance no matter where you go or what you do. As you can tell, we are incredibly, incredibly heavy here at 100.2 uh, weight out of 103, so we just barely squeak into the normal category. And so, for now, the reality is try and get something poisoned as fast as possible so we can continuously be um, rocking opportunism. But the real uh, genius of this weapon comes from Impact Wave is that you can stagger an enemy over and 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 over again. Um, so there's nothing really interesting about what we did from the... Uh, from the uh, Inv the last invasion here at the Cathedral Perimeter to the uh, um, successor of the Ribcage fight. And so to illustrate what th what this build does to regular enemies, um, it is pretty hilarious um, how things operate and how they go when you run into an enemy like this. Uh, you'll notice that uh, over and over and over and over and over and over they die uh, so the enemies just kind of die and so stagger 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 and a backstab for a good measure even though poison kills them so uh very 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 powerful uh setup here for regular enemies and there's really nothing interesting about it other than the fact that it just works so todd howard would be exceptionally proud of us that we've found a build like this um and you can do this with red shoes to proc it over and 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 over but that uh comes at the cost of not damaging things very often and so what we are going to be concerned with here is to try and get as much damage as we possibly can which is why we are bringing blade dance along so uh, keep that in mind as we go along here hopefully mia gives her uh she's not going to give us her um, business here, so that's unfortunate. Um, so, okay, let's just go. And we'll... There we go. So we'll get a little bit of ability set here. Okay. And then we can uh, start start doing some uh, damage here. Okay, there's a proc on her ability set there. And we'll get our stamina back. Come on, one more. Nope. Okay, we did not get the, uh, we didn't get the, uh, difference there. Or the, uh, stagger, which is unfortunate. There's the stagger. Okay, now we do have double gift extension going, so let's go for that. So you can tell there that, uh... <laughs> That's phase one, and unfortunately we didn't get the stagger in place, uh, so we, oh, let's go, so we kind of missed out on that, okay, and we missed out on that, and we are busy doing gifts instead of getting in there, um, so you can see that we, we really don't have any survivability, I mean, we're pretty much one shot by almost everything in the game um, at this point. You saw how uh, phase one went, where we just kind of like walked in and uh, won almost <laughs> with very limited, minimal effort uh, actually to even do anything. And I guess we'll. Hmm. I guess we'll just use these uh, for now and we'll wait for. No, I'll wait for Mia to get her mind out of the gutter there. Okay. Okay. Can we get a stagger? Nope. Okay. 
see and that's the problem with uh <laughs> with what's going on here so we will have to do some pre-buffing unfortunately uh because there's just not enough um time in between phase one there so um the f that's the fun part about uh coming up with these crazy builds is that uh you know what is useful when and where um so we'll we'll go for a couple of pre-buffs here and mia should be giving us her her uh, gift extension but she's not so whatever um we won't need it for everything here and okay and now she does for whatever reason okay um yeah we'll go one more and then heal good and now we'll go back to blade dance good and this and this okay now we should have plenty 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 of um oh okay whatever and now we can just whack away here and she will stagger And I didn't dodge. <laughs> I love this game. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that's that's the fun part about what's going on here. And you can see that she'll get she'll get poisoned uh, immediately and easily. Uh, there's no there's no real um, problem there that we need to watch for. And we can go for uh, precision here in this spot or uh, here in cognitive zeal if we need to. Um, because then we can just we can do something here like Dex in mind, and let's uh, let's go for that. So you can see what that's like. Um, so we'll do this. Hopefully, Mia. There we go. Okay, and then we can go back to debuff buildup. Oops. Yeah, and we need to heal if I can get. There we go. Good, and one more, and that should be fine. Um, because, well, we'll go this, 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 one more heal, and then we will go for our poison here, and this, and then a poison, uh, cartridge. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, good. Now we should be free to, uh, stagger away here. Okay, and now we gotta back up for the the stagger here. Good. Let's run over this way. And she'll do her lightning balls, which is fine. And we have to get a drain. Oh. Okay. And let's go for the uh, damage again here. And you can see that we are uh, getting more and more damage as we go along. And phase two can go just as quickly so pretty poor execution there but um the hilarity of this uh hammer is the fact that it is a hammer number one and number two it, it's like already a weapon that doesn't need any other multipliers or anything built into it or any other crazy uh setups or anything it's literally just a hammer that you apply one buff to or a couple of buffs and then it's already at like super top tier now again they ha i believe they uh gave it the blood damage value on there that uh is you know built into it in order to uh, make sure that you always are negated against most enemies um because sometimes sure you can have you know a helpful useful tool um but most of the time about 90 percent of the time this is a detractor in any enemy you go up against so very fun setup though when you pair it with uh, something like um, when you pair it with something like a uh, uh, debuff uh, because of opportunism and since poison is the longest duration on bosses you get 30 seconds for that and so you're able to uh, get really 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 good amount of damage out of that because during that uh, time that opportunism is active it's a 25 percent increase plus all of the attacks from blade dance so you can about essentially double your damage um and and then some uh, so it's really really great and here we're at 1185 for our light value so we're getting about 600 more from bridge to glory when that's active and uh so we're at 
1797, so 1800 call it, so that goes to 2400 immediately, and then we uh, get all of our multipliers and the 25% from opportunism, which is great. So we get a huge amount of damage that uh, comes off of this build on bosses specifically, and you saw on enemies, it's really no contest at all. They just kind of die because they're poisoned and they lose, you know, 30% of their health in 10 seconds. So you have 25% of your damage increasing during that 10 seconds when they're poisoned. And then on bosses, that goes for 30 seconds, so it's even better. Um, and so there's really nothing to this build. It's just uh, left click and you win. Uh, it's it's kind of hilarious how that actually operates. So if you're looking for a fun build to walk through the cathedral, this is one of those where you can do some pretty awesome damage overall. So pretty cool weapon. Uh, you find it in the Ashen Cavern, um, so you don't have it at this point, but on your second playthrough, you should absolutely uh, start messing around with it. Obviously, the uh, optimal choice is um, red shoes, but uh, if you don't have red shoes or something else, then uh, you can absolutely uh, do some cool stuff with it, regardless of whether you have red shoes or not. So you'll notice that it's just a block of like concrete here uh, with a face shield on it, so that steel part there is what... Um, does the damage because we all know what a concrete block in vain does uh, because we start with it and it's absolute trash so and it looks like this might have been like a set of trees or something and then we just uprooted it stuck it on here and then started slamming the ground with it so pretty cool weapon overall um, it's but it uh, it really comes to life when you are using impact wave so anyways thank you guys for watching we'll see you later bye